everyone, it's me Jenny and this is another review for Movie Club Strikes Back and this week's pick was from the fabulous Meta Medicine and I linked to her somewhere on screen or in the description, at least in the description because I usually forget to do it on screen uh, and she chose uh, Scream, which is a very appropriate Valentine's Day movie because there's always a reason to kill your girlfriend and um, yeah, uh, my quickie review for this is the first time I watched it was in 2013 for a certain other movie club, I'll put a link to that possibly on screen in the description. Um, and um, most of my opinion hasn't really changed that much. Uh, definitely on second watching, um, what I thought was me just really, really disliking the characters is actually a very broad um, foreshadowing for who the villains are. Um, it's one of those ones that on first viewing I kind of knew where the plot was going because I'd seen scary movie and I knew of the parodies um, but I hadn't really watched the film so I just assumed that I thoroughly disliked the characters I didn't assume that the characters were complete and utter assholes which is kind of an appropriate commentary on teenagers I guess because it's hard to know when they're actually being sadistic assholes and half the time they're just being teenagers um, my points that I made uh, on my previous video were that um, they are very insensitive teenagers, the fact that um, someone just died in their school and they're like, yay, school's out for summer, um, and all of that sort of thing that uh, I can remember commenting on for my last video. Um, one of the features that I definitely noticed more this time round was um, the very on-the-nose music mood, my phone just went off, musical mood manipulation where they have um, uh, a scene or um, a transition sequence um, where they will put on the most on the nose musical cues like the the romance moments between uh, Neve Campbell's character and her boyfriend type character um, Sydney and uh, whatever the name of the boyfriend is, I can't remember um, and where they put the most jaw-droppingly cheesy 90s romance music over the top of it um, and similarly a lot of very on the nose music so it does feel, those were the points that I actually found myself smiling and laughing um, similarly as I said in my previous review the one really good in joke that got me both last time and this time is the not you Fred with the janitor I just I love that moment I just I found it so funny and it's one of the few times I actually laugh out loud during this film um, and the main reason why I don't like this film is the main reason why I don't like a lot of horror movies is because I don't like the concept that this could happen and for me Scream is one of those ones that despite it being a very clever parody on itself it's parodying um, the concept that uh, teenagers are manipulated by mo movies while also um, kind of commentating on the fact that they're not slash they are manipulated by t watching too many horror movies slash the manipulation that people have in general from the perspective of the media it kind of it, it's a whole commentary on film and um, uh, news and how that manipulates people and how people are already manipulated in the first place um, and that's a really interesting concept and I really like that um, but for me I still kind of get freaked out by the concept that um, you know a normal human person could just snap and go crazy and like a week ago I spent 10 minutes on a phone call uh, to a cold caller because I was too scared to stop talking to them and like the first scene with Drew Barrymore is one of like it's one of the creepiest scenes in all, of all time for me because it starts off so sensibly it starts off with the you know oh I'm sorry I made a wrong number hang up oh you call me back and you can understand where that conversation is going you can understand why she's still talking to it and then as it progresses it gets darker and darker to the point where you're like Drew Barrymore I want to hug you you poor poor person and then it gets disturbingly violent um, so I'm not the biggest fan of this film because I don't like being scared and that concept of a cold caller then you know being like I see you I want to murder you or if you don't answer these questions right you're gonna die and then you know being stabbed in the chest not really my cup of tea um, but I've got to give points to the acting um, from Drew Barrymore all the way through to the end um, the, a lot of these characters are playing caricatures but it's very very well acted sadistic caricatures um, and I did enjoy it, I like the commentary on the media um, and yeah it's a very very good film and even if you don't like horror like me it's worth at least one watch because there's a lot of really neat ideas going on uh, in this film 
Um, I don't think I've said anything new. I'll link to my old video in the description. The main thing you'll probably notice is that my hair is now about five inches longer and I'm less ginger. Um, I'm also a lot more confident talking on cameras and a bit less like, Hi guys, it's me Jenny and I don't really want to make opinions. Anyway, um, feel free to comment down below if you like this film, if you don't like this film, what are your thoughts? Um, I would definitely recommend it, but if you are squeamish like me, just, you know, watch it with a friend or watch it in daylight, um, and all of those sort of things. Um, it's very clever and it's entertaining, I just probably wouldn't love it forever and ever. Thank you for the big meta, um, and yeah, I'll see you guys all next week for another Movie Club Straight Back review. Hi guys! <laughs>